So I have two suggestions for making this bill as effective as possible. One would be to allow the town to immediately draw upon any bond or security submitted for work in connection with any safety related work in an approved subdivision if such work is unfinished at the time any property granted municipal extension expires. Number two, allow the town to complete or correct such insufficiencies as safety issues which are not completed after any property granted municipal extension. Liens on such property may then be necessary. Currently, Avon has three subdivisions, uh, subdivision approvals granted as long ago as, 19, as 2014 with such incomplete work. A correction to 8-3K is not only appropriate, but is also a step in providing a safer, safer environment for all residents of the state of Connecticut. And while I realize this may be a fairly unique situation in the town of Avon, we think it's fairly uh, safe to say that such a correction would benefit all towns in the state of Connecticut for subdivisions, site plan approvals, and zoning approvals. Thank you very much for your attention. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Thank you so much for your time. I, I really appreciate you being here. And, and obviously, we've had conversations about this, and I've had conversations with many a constituent about this. Um, my question is, prior to us passing that bill, and I believe it was 2021, right. to grant that extension, were you already struggling with this developer to have things completed in a timely fashion? I think that the process was under control based upon the existing statutes. In other words, start within a certain period of time, finish within five, and then granted a periodic small extensions if warranted. Each of those extensions have to go back in front of the Planning and Zoning Commission for approval. So a two-year extension is manageable. Residents can understand that. There are certain things that can be done. However, in these situations, uh, two-year extensions were granted, but no work was done. No work was done. No work was done. And then 8-3K really surprised us all. Frankly, I did a lot of research in trying to find out how that was approved and still um, unable to determine that myself, actually. But I think that um, what this would do would be allow the town to take a little bit more control to satisfy the residents, especially with regard to these safety requirements, and move things forward in a, in a fairly uh, reasonable period of time. And my understanding was this developer, um, while previously had been um, you know, very reliable, that not only has Avon had an issue, but Burlington and Simsbury have also had issues as well. Are you aware of that? Yes, yeah, we are, and certainly, and we certainly understand, and that's why I mentioned in my testimony that we understand that, you know, whether it's pandemic or whether it's something else, that there are extreme situations, whether it's a weather condition or some sort of medical condition, those things are understandable. But 19 years seems a bit extreme, and the residents affected by these things are put in a tremendous uh, financial hurt uh, with regard to having things incomplete, incomplete, uh, having play areas for kids, street lighting, and so on. Um, so those are the kinds of things we think are reasonable to, to have the um, uh, amendment to the uh, statute apply. Okay.